Almost every time I'm asked what I do, and people hear high school chemistry teacher, they immediately respond with, chemistry, that was so hard. <laughs> Some of you are thinking this right now. Normally this only slightly bugs me, unless it's my doctor, but hey, whatever. I began to wonder if chemistry wasn't the problem, but how we teach it. At the same time, others in the Bellevue School District were asking themselves the same question about their subjects and grade levels. This led to the I3 STEM pilot project, which is fundamentally changing the way we approach teaching and learning. This work would not have been possible without the support of the Bellevue uh, Schools Foundation. If I were to describe this new approach in the classroom, it's innovation. The foundation supports innovation at every level in every classroom across the district. It funds the district's research and development, including exploring how to incorporate new learning from pilot classrooms into every classroom and eventually the larger education community. I'd like to share a little bit about what this looks like in my classroom at Sammamish High School. This innovative approach is called problem-based learning, or PBL. This means students work on authentic problems in the classroom, uh, finding real-world solutions. Let's look at a specific example, molecules. In a traditional chemistry course, you learn detailed information about molecules, starting with Lewis structures, bond dipoles, molecular dipoles, intermolecular forces. Actually, you might need some paper and a calculator. I'll give you just a minute to get those out. OK, I'll stop there. Uh, normally, all of this new learning is focused towards one culminating moment, a test. But that isn't what scientists do. Taking tests is not exciting for scientists and it's not exciting for kids. So instead of the pinnacles of molecules being an exam, we have them do what a scientist would, cure cancer. This means that right now, in my ninth grade biology chemistry course, students are partnering with researchers at UW to design and test molecular cages that could encapsulate and hold a chemotherapy drug to help eliminate traditional side effects and allow for more aggressive treatment. This is a problem. <laughs> this is a problem scientists are working hard to solve. Students in Bellevue are actively contributing to research and new solutions. In PBL, we aren't just asking kids to learn really challenging concepts for an exam but we enable them to apply new learning to solve real problems, like helping save the lives of cancer patients. The kids are learning the same topics about molecular polarity, intermolecular forces, hydrophobic, hydrophilic interactions, but instead of just taking a quiz, they apply it to something real. This results in fundamental changes in the classroom. Kids are going way deeper and beginning to play the role of researchers. The question, questions are shifting away from, is this on the test, or how much is that worth, to questions like, what are the molecules in a chemotherapy drug? Do all polar molecules behave this way every time? How can you predict it? The kids are more engaged, and they care what they're learning about. They are becoming scientists. Students are developing collaboration strategies. Instead of just having the one person take on the whole group project, all of them are working because they're all engaged. It's not about points anymore. It's about an authentic problem. And what's happening inside the classroom is affecting the entire culture of the school. It's fascinating to hear the conversation kids are having with each other because we've given them something to talk about. Think about high school and what students are saying. Or maybe don't. <laughs> Boyfriends, girlfriends, cars, Instagram. Now they're also talking about something else that matters to them. Conversations about what they're exploring in class are slowly occupying the airwaves more and more. 
With problem-based learning, sometimes you hear conversations that sound something like you would overhear in a graduate lounge at a university as students spitball ideas about their dissertations to each other. I'll give you an example. In my last unit about cell membrane transportation, I challenged students to create a solution with just things they would have around the house that could help someone with severe dehydration. I heard kids talking about this problem before and after school. I even heard stories about kids on the track field trying to convince their buddies to drink the, uh, to drink the solution because it actually hydrates them better than water. <laughs> Sometimes, I forget, I'm hearing teenagers talk around the high school. We are making great strides. We are making learning more meaningful. Kids are learning more, learning it more deeply. They're becoming more invested in school. This is important because this leads to a growth mindset. Rather than believing, I am what I was born to be, students are instead thinking, I can do anything because I've already done it in high school. I know a lot of people walk away from their high school chemistry experience and say, chemistry is hard. Kids don't walk out of my room saying that. Kids walk out of my room saying, I wonder if I should major in chemistry when I go to college. And this makes me feel really proud. This is the power of problem-based learning. We're getting kids to envision themselves as capable part of a community of learners, explorers, scientists, part of an environment of huge potential, of success stories that got their start right here in Bellevue. And like any successful pilot, what we are learning is benefiting students in other schools across the district. Teams of teachers from Sammamish are working with teachers at uh, Interlake, for instance, um, to incorporate problem-based learning into their AP Human Geography course. And at Bellevue, you've got AP PBL Biology. It's very gratifying to see this grow. One of the best ways I know to help students learn is to present evidence from experts. In my classroom, sometimes this means a professor from UW or a Microsoft engineer. Since I'm talking about learning in high school, my best expert is a teenager. It is my great pleasure and privilege to introduce to you a real life, bona fide Sammamish High School student, Jema Garcia.